Hello and welcome to Book Reading with Sammy. Today we are going to read a Curious George book. It says, Curious George Takes a Train by Margaret and H.A. Reyes. Remember to like this video and subscribe to my channel. This is George. He was a good little monkey and always very curious. This morning, George and the man with the yellow hat were at the train station. So this is George and this is the man with the yellow hat and they're going into that train station. And it says Central Station. They were taking a trip to the country with their friend, Mrs. Niddleman, but first they had to get tickets. Inside the station, everyone is in a hurry. People rush to buy newspapers to read and treats to eat. Then they rush to catch their trains. So they got their tickets from the ticket counter. There were so many people at the train station getting newspapers from the newsstands, getting some treats from the snack shop, and some people were running towards the train. But one little boy with a brand new toy engine was not in a hurry, nor was the small crowd next to him. They were just standing in one spot looking up. George looked up too. What were they looking at? A train master was moving numbers and letters on a big sign. Soon the train master was called away, but his job did not look finished. George was curious. Could he help? So what was the train master doing? He was putting the timetable for the trains, but he couldn't finish. He had to go somewhere. George climbed up in a flash. Then, just like the train master, he picked a letter off the sign and put it in a different place. Next, he took the number nine and put it near a two. George moved more letters and more numbers. He was glad to be such a big help. Is he helping? Let's find out. Hey, yelled a man from below. I can tell when my train leaves. What track is my train on? Asked another man. What's that monkey doing up there? Demanded a woman. She did not sound happy. The train master did not sound happy either. Come down from there right now, he hollered at George. Oh no, George messed up the whole train timetable. Poor George, it's too easy for a monkey to get into trouble. But lucky for George, it's also easy for a monkey to get out of trouble. Right then, the conductor shouted, all aboard. A crowd of people rushed toward the train. George simply slid down a pole, scurried over a suitcase and squeezed with the crowd through the gate. There he found the perfect hiding place for a monkey. Where is George? Where is he hiding? The little boy with the toy engine also ran through the gate. Look, Daddy, he said, a train. His father looked up. Come back, son, he yelled. That's not our train. But can you find George? Where is he? Do you see him in this picture? Oh, I found him. He is inside the trash can. But it was too late. The gate locked behind him. The boy began to cry. George peeked out of his hiding place. He saw the boy's toys roll towards the tracks. The boy ran after it. Uh-oh. This time, George knew he could help. He leaped out of his hiding place and ran fast. George grabbed the toy engine before the little boy came to close to the tracks. What a close call. Oof. George saved the day. When the train master opened the gate, the boy's father ran to his son. The boy was not crying now. He was playing with his new friend. His new friend is George. So there you are, said the train master when he saw George. You sure made a lot of trouble on the big board. 
Please don't be upset with him, said the boy's father. He saved my son. The people on the platform agreed. They had seen what had happened, and they clapped and cheered. George was a hero. Just then, the man with the yellow hat arrived with Mrs. Nittleman. It's time to go, George, he said. Here comes our train. This is our train, too, the father said. The little boy was excited. Can George ride with us? He asked. That sounded like a good idea to everyone. So the train master asked the conductor to find them a special seat. Where are they going to seat? And he did, right up front. Look, they are sitting right in the front of the train. The end. See you next time.